Hey everyone, so this is my pretty old HP Elite Book 840 G1. And what I recently found out about these G1s and the G2s is that a lot of parts are interchangeable with one another. You can almost kind of hot rod these laptops. Uh, specifically, uh, this screen right here, my screen is a 720p display and I realized that I could upgrade this to a 1080p display. So what I went ahead and did is I purchased a 1080p display from a Elite Book G3, and we're gonna go ahead and see if we can install it in this book here. Now I went ahead and purchased this screen on eBay. I was gonna open it up, but then I said, man, I gotta take you guys along. The way they packaged this was just absolutely fantastic. So you have really nice, you know, whatever cushy foam or bubbles here. Toss that aside, but then, I mean, they, in my opinion, I think they went, in my opinion, I think they went above and beyond in packaging this screen. Open this up. Pull our display out, and we'll go ahead and start installing this. So before beginning any repair on your laptop, just go ahead and remove the battery. And we can go ahead and place our cover back on. So the way to remove this display, you first have to remove this trim around here. And some videos say that it's glued in, so you have to heat it up with a hairdryer. Others don't seem to mention that. But what they do say is you can start here and then kind of peel up. Okay, it seems like mine might be glued in a little bit. Maybe we'll get the hair dryer out. Or, honestly, this glue seems to be kind of old. Man, that was kind of a bear to get. The whole bezel is actually relatively easy to peel off. Yes, there is some glue. You can use a heat, you can use a heat gun or hair dryer to heat it up a little bit. I uh, just go slow. But the biggest part, or the biggest bear, in my opinion, are these two hooks that wrap around the hinges. Those are quite annoying to kind of peel up and pull. I thought I was really going to break this. This piece of plastic is pretty is pretty resilient, and its clips are also very good. But now we can set this aside. And we can take out our screen now, which is nice. So we have four screws. It really helps if you have a magnetic screwdriver. So now all four of our screws are out and they're all the same size. So there's no need to think that you're gonna mix any of them up. And let's peel this screen out. Not really peel, but take out. There's going to be a ribbon cable along the back side, So just be careful. And there are little plastic standoffs that the monitor frame, or the screen frame sits in. So we gotta kinda take it off these standoffs. There it goes, it just went free. Well, what do we got here? Looks like we got some tape for the camera. Oops. And we'll just flow, fold this down. So we just have to remove this piece of scotch tape and this piece of, piece of tape will help us remove the 30 pin monitor connector. Just gonna use this little ruler or scale that I have to kind of help me peel this tape up. And our monitor is set free. So we have our new screen now. Go ahead and place it down. Get our monitor connector lined back up and plugged in. There we go, we're all plugged in. Okay, now's the moment of truth. So again, this is this was advertised to me as a G3 display. Uh, it still has a 30 pin connector on it. Uh, should work. So this is this is again a 
eight an Elite Book 840G1 with a Elite Book 840G3 1080p display. So let's turn it on for the first time together. Okay, so the screen is damaged. It definitely looks a lot more crisp. I mean, this clearly works. This has a lot of damage to the screen. It's quite unfortunate, actually. You have damage up there. Obviously, you have this huge damage. It's it's terrible, actually. Screen resolution is great. You also got a lot of issues up here. I'll go ahead and contact the eBay seller, and we'll see what we can get out of this. Okay, guys, so this is a couple days in the future. We got our new screen from the eBay seller. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this thing on before we screw it in. Nice. This looks absolutely perfect. The one thing I want to mention is that when I plugged in the screen, booted up the machine, it did take a couple more minutes norm, than normal to boot up. And I believe there was some initialization that was probably happening. Previously, the screen was a 720p display, and then now we're upgrading it to a 1080p display. Uh, so it, it took a couple minutes, and then uh, I ended up just kind of getting impatient and power cycling the laptop. And then as soon as I booted up the machine again for the second time, it booted up with its normal speed and everything was great. I'm really happy with this upgrade. The screen looks really crisp and it was very inexpensive. Now, as far as the eBay seller, they were absolutely fantastic to deal with. I sent them a picture of the broken screen, the model number, the stickers on the back of the screen, and within three business days, they had a screen at my door. I emailed them on a Sunday, they got back to me on Monday. By Wednesday, I had this screen. Super fast, could not be happier to have dealt with such a better group. I'll leave their eBay store name uh, in the, probably right here, and then I'll also leave it down in the description, as well as I'll leave the model number of the screen right here, and then additionally in the video description as well. Now, this is actually only part one of me modifying my old EliteBook G1. The next big modification I actually have for this is actually installing this G2 motherboard in here. So the 840G1 and 840G2 share the same chassis. And this G2 motherboard has an upgraded processor, but more importantly, it has a dedicated graphics chip on here. So the processor jumps from a 4300U to a 5300U, and then I can't recall what the ATI graphics chip is on here, but I'll leave it right here on the screen. Anyways, I'm really excited to install this new motherboard and see the performance on this thing. If you wanna see me upgrade this old laptop to a next generation motherboard and see the performance gain in both Cinebench scores and gaming, please consider subscribing. But if you didn't, if you don't consider subscribing, I really hope that you found this video helpful, educational, and entertaining. I really hope that you take away something from this video. Maybe you upgrade the screen on your HP Elite Book. So don't hesitate to think that you need to have a screen from a G1 uh, to fit in a G1. As I just showed you, you can have a screen from a G3 that can also fit in your older laptop. Anyways, as always guys, thanks and take care.